So now that we actually have the interface, we can start calling these functions and calling these addresses. However, having a ton of these interfaces is really gonna clog up our contracts and clog up our files and be really gross to work with. Is there a better way for us to do this? Well, when we worked with simple storage, yes, there was, we just went ahead and used imports, right? But that's when we had all the code in our locally in our directory. We don't have all the code locally. We didn't create the aggregator v3 interface. We didn't create the price feed contracts. So can we do something like sim import simple storage.sol, but with a contract outside of our project? Well, again, we could copy paste it to its own file and import aggregator v3 aggregator v3 interface.sol. And of course, we're going to use this named import syntax because we're awesome developers. We could copy paste it like this and do exactly what we did before. We could create a new file called aggregator v3 interface, paste the code in there, or we could actually import directly from GitHub. If we go back to the documentation associated with using data feeds, we scroll down to using data feeds here, scroll down, we see at the top, they do this import like this, import at chainlink slash contracts, SRC, blah, blah, blah. This import actually has the same setup as, as the path of what's in the GitHub repository. So instead of us copy pasting from GitHub, we can actually import directly from GitHub or NPM. We can copy this line back in our remix. We could paste it in like this. Remix is smart enough to know that this at chainlink slash contracts is referring to the, what's known as an NPM package at chainlink slash contracts. At chainlink slash contracts is what's known as a package manager, and it keeps different versions of combinations of code for us to download. At chainlink slash contracts is created directly from chainlink repository. Remix downloads all this code from NPM, which is created from the GitHub. So it essentially downloads it from the GitHub. So us doing this import like this is the same as it's just copy pasting the entire interface at the top of our contract. And now we have this aggregator v3 interface that we want to work with. We can go ahead and compile and bada bing bada boom.